Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Horse 2 Tony here. Today's video, we're going to be talking about AIM and how to improve it. Uh, this video is going to be about the little simple things you can do to improve your AIM. And this is a video I feel like you guys have been asking for for a while. So with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Our first tip of the video is vertical targeting. Uh, I believe everyone should have vertical targeting on. I've talked a little bit about vertical targeting in an earlier video. I think it was five tips for ARRB. But here is what vertical targeting does. I have a side-by-side -side comparison with vertical targeting on, vertical targeting off. Uh, this is a real short tip. As you can see, vertical targeting, your rounds are arcing a little bit higher, as you can tell, within the crosshair and my like mouse aim cursor. It's higher than without vertical targeting. So what that does is just helps you shoot a little bit farther without having to lead as much. It's gonna help you with deflection shots and overall just make aiming easier. If you don't have that on, or if you've been wary about what it does, that's what it does guys so now coming up is tip number two all right guys tip number two is going to be learning the optimal turning speed for your plane uh, every plane has a turning speed or a speed that it performs the best under uh, in this clip this is actually an ace uh, i'm using the f4u 1d or no this is the f4u c the one with the four cannons if you notice in the clip i never really dip under 300 miles per hour because I know the F4U around 300, 350, you're going to get some of the best turning performance you can out of the plane. And me keeping my speed up is helping me get the lead I need on people when I'm making my shots that I'm making. So guys, with that out of the way, this is just going to come with time of playing the same planes over and over. All right, guys, tip number three. It's going to be use the same plane nonstop until you master it. Um, this is a big thing that will help you because for a lot of nations, the weapons and the bullets are the exact same throughout kind of like the eras of the war, war. So like for United States, for example, 50 cals all the way up until about like three mid 3.0, 3.0. 3, 3.7, you're using the same belts and same guns. So if you master one plane, it makes it that much easier switching to any other plane in that nation because you already have your lead down with that gun. Let it be 50 cals, the 20 millimeters on Germans, whatever it is, just stick to one plane until you're good at it. All right, guys, tip number four is going to be understanding how your speed affects your lead. Uh, what do I mean about this? Pretty much understanding energy state, your energy state compared to your enemies, but pretty much to put it simple is if you have a speed advantage against your enemy, the greater your speed advantage, the less lead you're going to have to give your enemy to land your shots. Uh, it also works against you. Same thing for him. Uh, the slower you're going, the easier it is going to be for him to hit his shots. Fifth and final tip for the video is going to be tracers. Make sure you're using tracer guys. Don't use stealth belts unless you've mastered your plane and you know exactly where to aim to hit because you're just kind of playing at a disadvantage of you're you're playing at a disadvantage of not knowing where your rounds are landing, but you're trading it off for more damage. Um the second part to the tracers tip is pay attention to where your tracers are falling when you're shooting at people sometimes when i'm fighting i the person i'm shooting at is second to me staring at my tracers because i want to know if i need more lead if i need less lead i know this one's a little tough to implement but it's just kind of like a training thing it takes repetition to follow your tracers more than your target I'm not saying ignore your target completely, but just understand your tracers while you're trying to learn what to lead and how to lead in certain situations are more important than getting the kill because it's information you're learning from your tracers that you can implement later on to be able to line up your kills. All right, guys, I'm going to slip this one in for you. I'm going to call this a little bonus tip. 
I don't really, uh, I've never heard of anybody doing this or anybody ever telling people to do this. But if you want to, if you want to get a little bit better at uh, ARK or ARB, go into a fucking arcade. Um, this is what I did when I had one friend that got me into War Thunder. He got me back into playing it in realistic and I absolutely sucked. And I went into arcade and my thought process, which I think may be true, I don't know, is I know the planes maneuver differently, behave differently, but the bullet velocity and the speed that we're going is the same. So when I get in situations where I'm taking deflection shots, my time spent in arcade, I just kind of visualize that the lead indicator. I visualize it in front of my enemy, and that's how I make some of my shots. It helped me, but like I said, I've never seen people talk about it or tell people to do it. So take that one with a little bit of caution. Use it if you want to. Don't. But with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you like content like this. And like always, I'll catch you on the next one.